Today we're talking to Altrincham goalkeeper Ethan uh, Ross on the back of a superb uh, weekend, a 1-0 victory at uh, Boreham Wood. Uh, Ethan, uh, it was certainly a very intense uh, start uh, down in Hertfordshire on Saturday. Yeah, they came out of the blocks at us, didn't they? For sure. Um, yeah, I don't think we quite dealt with it as well as we should have early, early on. Um, I think we probably tried to overplay at times, uh, especially when we, we had our possession of the ball in around the back, uh, goal kicks and so forth. I think that there's uh, probably a little bit naive from us, but that's the type of team we are. We like to play and we like to be in, in possession side. So I think that there's there's little parts of the game that we've ironed out today in the analysis we've had a look at. And um, But yeah, no, they, they, they certainly came on strong early doors. You've made three fantastic saves, two uh, inside the first two or three uh, minutes. Um, let's look at the, the first one uh, straight away. Um, it looked like you, you, you got your footwork right on, right on that one. Yeah, the, the one a minute in. About Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I don't know if it was it Balan or Sagaf. It was, Sagaf. It, was it Sagaf, yeah. So it was, uh, it was probably a bit of a pot shot from, from, from nowhere, really. It was, uh, I think it was his weaker foot as well. So, yeah, it was... Um, I wouldn't say it took me by surprise, just because I obviously ended up saving it. But um, but yeah, it was it was a decent strike, you know. Um, like I said, on his on, on his weaker foot as well. So yeah, uh, all about just get, getting the feet ready, staying staying ready, and uh, you know being ready from early on in the game. And um, you know, glad I was. And um, within a minute or two, a second save, completely different uh, save, that was coming through bodies, and it wouldn't have been easy to see. And you've had to get down very low. Yeah, um, the the bush strike wasn't it, uh, Chris Bush? Uh, yeah, it was a it was a good strike to be fair to him. Um, like you said, through bodies, I think that's probably out the two of them the harder save, just because I've seen it later. Um, and uh, obviously you've got lads uh, Coops Baines throwing the bodies at it, so you do obviously see the ball later. So so yeah, I was I was probably more pleased with that one than than the first one, if anything, just because I knew how sharp a save it was. And uh, you know, like the, the first save, I had full sight of the ball. Um, all around my hand, whereas this one, like we said, it was a late reaction save. So, yeah. Um, but again, you know, it, that's that, that's testament to the training that I'm doing with Goldie throughout the week and, and the reaction stuff that we're we're constantly doing. So, um, it's it's a nice feeling when the training sort of like follows on into the game and um, you're able to make them save. So, um, it's interesting because we've done some stuff uh, in, in the week based on shots through bodies, quick shots, because um, I think. Bournemouth are quite good with that. Um, Lee and Love up up top, and um, we did a bit of work on Marsh as well, and obviously Shamanga. Uh, they're all good with them on the spin, quick early shots. So um, yeah, it, like I said, it was nice that it, it, it came into the game, and um, the work we done was was useful. And you mentioned uh, Kabongo Shimanga there. That was your, your third fantastic save in the in the second half. And uh, one on one, Kabongo Shimanga in front of you. Um, probably most people would have had it on the former Chesterfield striker to score, but you've you've done a magnificent job there. Yeah, well, I think obviously he, I think he won the ball back from Eddie originally. Um, so it, it was one for me where his his touch. If anything, put, probably put it more in my favour, um, just because I think he was slightly off balance. I think it might have been potentially a different story had he have had his, you know, a full balance and um, got got his, his body in the right position. But um, but yeah, it, it's it's one of them. It's once the the, the line was broken of the defence, it was up to me to sort of come and narrow that angle as quickly as possible. And um, you know, I, I think I think I was quite sharp off the line. I don't know what you thought, but I think it was I was quite sharp off the line and. Um, yeah, I suppose I need to be in that moment and just make myself as big as possible. You've had a fantastic uh, game, but uh, th the defence in front of you has done really well. Bodies on the line, Lewis Baines, a magnificent headed clearance. Jake Cooper, a couple of really good uh, blocks as uh, as well. And that's given us our uh, our clean sheet and mm. given us the opportunity to win the game through Chris Conclark's magnificent uh, goal. But uh, you've got to pay tribute to the back four. Massive. And, and, and you know what? I think we've been... Excellent way with it all season in terms of putting bodies on the line, blocks. Um, I think that there's, the defence has been really, really solid. And, uh, you know, it's it's up to me to make them saves when when the time comes for me. But I, I wouldn't say I've been massively overworked at any point this season, really. I think maybe the one game would be barn it away, potentially, where probably had a little bit too much to do in, in, in sense. And I think there was the scoreline on that day reflected that. But... I think we've been really, really solid, and like you said, the names you just mentioned there. I think that 
they've been brilliant all season and um, you know I'm, I'm really really lucky to, to be able to play behind them um, so you know when, when teams do get opportunities I'm normally feeling very comfortable to be honest with you in terms of having them lads in front of me and um, like I said I'm probably more, only making one two saves a game um, so obviously Saturday was slightly different I think it was three in the end but um, but yeah no like, like you said the defence have been so solid and Really, they're two young lads as well. I mean, I mean Coops, I think, is only 22. Baines, he's only 24. Um, so, you know, for, for the age that they are the, and the experience that they've got, they've been incredible, to be honest with you. So, like, hats off to them. And, and again, they work really hard in training. They, they both work really hard in training. And, um, there's, you know, there's a good dynamic between the, the, the pair of them and uh, they look really comfortable playing together. So, you know, I sort of reap the rewards of that as well, uh, playing behind them. So I just need to make sure that I'm constantly staying on to them and uh, just making sure they're staying tuned in for the full 90. And we only made one change from the Tuesday night's uh, mauling of uh, York City with um, Justin Donoa returning on loan following his spell with Chorley to replace the injured uh, Lewis Banks. But... Uh, like the rest of the team had a little bit of a tricky uh, start, but I thought Justin did a very good job. Yeah, he was excellent, and um, you know that that's what that that loan was there for Justin to go and do to to go and get his minutes up and get games, and um, you know he's come back and he's looked really sharp in training, and uh, yeah, I, I think that to, to be honest, you say it was a, quite a difficult start. I think it was quite a difficult start for the whole team. To be honest, with you, for, for ten minutes, I, I, like I said before, I alluded to, I, I don't think that we managed the game particularly well in that first ten minutes, so. Um, there was a couple of times we were trying to get out down just inside and it wasn't really quite working so um, but like you said he, he managed to shirk that off re really really well and like for the rest of the game he was excellent he really really was and um, he contributed massively to a, to, you know, to a massive result um, away from home and um, th th there was one there was a cross late on in the game I think Leon Love cut inside and he whipped it towards the back post and um, he's done really well to head it away because he was completely mismatched that I think that, that, that was Fifield I think at the back post and you know there's a bit of a height difference and, and size difference there so um, you know he's not afraid to throw his weight around Justin and um, like I said it's it, it was great for him to come back in and be so important in a in a massive result it was a huge boost when you made your return in the game against uh, Woking and uh, that's following the injury that you sustain sustained originally on the Saturday before Christmas in the TV game at uh, Bromley. First of all, tell us a, a, about sustaining the injury because it was a, a hell of a crack that you got from, from Michael Cheek. Yeah, so it, it felt double bad, like I said, because it was just, uh, I just conceded a goal as well, so it was more after the goal had gone in. Um, so, yeah, Mike had ran into me. Um, I wasn't sure what I'd done at the time. I knew I was obviously in a lot of pain. Um, but, yeah, so I managed to get it uh, x-rayed on Christmas Eve, uh, and they, they x-rayed basically the wrong part. This was just at general A&E, um, and they said there was bruise in there, but there was no fracture. So um, they, I was advised by the doctors to rest um, but I knew I had a Boxing Day game so I knew that wasn't going to be in the equation for me um, so uh, yeah I ended up playing uh, I think it was about five or six games with injections um, which definitely helped I wasn't feeling too much pain during the games it was more so after the games to be honest um, but yeah and then I, I, I think I probably made it a lot worse by doing that in that time but I wasn't aware that there was a fracture I assumed it was bruised like what we'd seen on the x-ray so um, yeah, just before Chesterfield away, I, I, I definitely made it worse out here training. So um, yeah, so obviously I had a bit of a prolonged period off, uh, which was you know incredibly tough for me. Um, just it, re really, really tough not being out on the grass, even just day-to-day -day training, not being out going to the gym, all them sorts of things. So um, you know, I'm very thankful and very lucky to be back now. Um, so I'm still taking it very easy in the week and managing me training training loads so I'm not doing too much and overdoing it again um, but yeah so it was um, yeah it was it, it wasn't the best um, it took probably a little bit longer to heal than, than I would have hoped for because I think there was a lot of damage to the intercostal muscles around it so I think that's probably what I'm still feeling slightly whenever I do get pain um, but you know, we spoke to the uh, spoke to the, guy, the the people who'd done the MRI for me um, after the Chesterfield game when I got it rescanned, and they said, you know, the bone's healing well, so it's just a matter of time, and and just trying to take it easy until until then. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a, for me, it's 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 been a very slow process. I, as much as it's only been eight weeks, and I think 
when you think about an injury, if people say it's going to be eight weeks, it's not too bad really. But um, you know, when you go from playing and training every day and playing every week and what have you, to then being able to do nothing, it's uh, it, it certainly takes its toll. So it's um, yeah, like I say, I'm just very very thankful and uh, and, and just really happy just to be back and. Uh, just being around the lads and everything again, it's uh, yeah, it, it's it's put me in a, in a really good place. And we were fortunate that uh, in your place is, is an experienced goalkeeper and a high quality goalkeeper, Matt Gould, who did a really good job. Yeah, no, he, he was excellent. He was really, really good, and um, it, it was it was nice for me because obviously Gould is my coach um, as well as as being a goalkeeper here. So it was almost like we kind of flipped the roles, and I would sort of go through his games with him, and I'd do his analysis for him. So I think um, in terms of me and Gould, Gould I, I mentioned this when I first signed for the club. You know how well we get on and how long I've known him for, and um, you know we're we're really really close and um, we're, we're a real team, and it's a team effort between the both of us. So, you know whatever goalkeeper goes out on the pitch and um, has to do the job out on the pitch, it's um, it's a, it's a mix of both of us to be honest with you. Like I said, it's um, I won't be able to have done. Um, and but, but putting the performance that I have done this season without the the analysis he's put in for me, without the the coaching and the, the sessions that he's put on for me, so he's got me in a great place to be able to go and perform on a Saturday. And um, you know that was that that was for me really important that I'd done that for him when he was playing as well. Um, so yeah, he he done a great job. Goldie made some great saves. Obviously, he came in uh, at the start and he kept three clean sheets on the bounce, which is amazing. That's the first time that we've done that this season. And um, you know, he's uh, I think he ended up playing ten games, which is which is great for him. And um, you know, he he should be really happy with the the the, the you know performances and the work that he put in because he's done a great job. Seven games uh, left in the playoffs. It's a really exciting time. Yeah, it's a great time, and, and you know, if if you'd have. Um, I think if you'd have offered, to be honest, anybody at this point of the season to be just in the hunt for the playoffs, I think anyone would have taken it. I think you know there's been speak about over the, you know, we obviously went on a bit of a bad run not that long ago where we didn't win and was it was it seven games we didn't win and or was it six out of seven? Six, or, six defeats out of seven. Yeah, so obviously it's not a great run to go on, especially at this point of the season. But I think me looking at it from the positive side of things I think that if we'd had that bad spell earlier on in the season and we'd won the last seven or won the last six out of seven it'd be a completely different perspective on it and people would say well they're, they're really hunting down the playoffs now so I think that we'd still have the same amount of points no, no matter when we had that spell in the season it's just uh, a shame that it came at this point now but, um, but you know I think that we, you know it looks, it looks as if results have changed in that sense and I think performances have been a lot better um, and I think as a, as a group, that's what we're most disappointed about, the actual performances that we're putting in. Um, they weren't our standards and they weren't up to scratch for, for what we've achieved this season. So, um, But yeah, like you said, it's a really, really exciting time now. And, um, you know, all the lads are, are tuned in every day at work and, um, you know, all intention to get into the playoffs. Huge game on uh, Saturday, Gateshead, who are your local National League club from the part of the world that you come from uh, are in town um, and the game at, uh, at Gateshead that we won by two goals to one of the best performances of uh, the season but once again a big day for you because at nil nil you made what was possibly your best save of the season potentially might be oh yeah yeah of course yeah potentially might be actually um, yeah no it was a good save I remember it thanks for bringing that up Why you made me feel brilliant there no I needed that um, no yeah it was uh yeah, good save. I remember it was a, it was a good team performance that day as well. I remember because uh, Gator at the time were I think they were in, in a real good spot when they? they were flying. They were playing some really good football. Obviously, it was still under Williamson when he was there, I believe. So um, they were looking like they were in a real good place. And you know, for us to turn up that day and and play the way we did, um, yeah, no, we were really really happy. So you know, the intention's got to be to do that again on on Saturday. Um, it's probably a slightly different look Gated team to the one we played against earlier on in the season obviously uh, Rob Elliott a former Newcastle goalkeeper will be taking the game um, so you know he's done well since he's come in it must have been a tough tough situation he was in going from I believe he was director of football there was he and uh, to then actually being full manager of the team um, he's done a really good job and they've picked up recently as well so it should be a really really good game and uh, you know it's one that we're looking forward to and uh, you know we'll be gritting our teeth into it and uh, hopefully turn out another good result 
and they've had a similar season to us. They're a very good footballing side, so very similar style of uh, play. They've had two or three purple patches, and they've had a real difficult patch mm-hmm. as well as we have uh, recently. Um, but games are always close between Alti and, uh, and and the Heed. And, uh, of course, they've got Marcus uh, Dinanga returning to the Jay Davidson Stadium. Last season, he scored the only goal in the league clash on Easter Monday. So we'll be doing our level best to make sure we don't get a repeat of that. Yeah, for sure. No, we don't want to give him too many chances because, uh, you know, he's a good player and he knows where the net is. And... Um, We've done really well at the away game this season to keep them quiet. I think we limited, I can't even remember them having a real good chance to be honest in that game. So I think that's something that, you know, we're going to be looking at keeping him quiet again. But, um, you know, they've got threats all over the pitch, to be fair. They're a good side. And, um, you know, Hannon likes to bomb on with the ball and um, Ben Warman's good in there. He can shoot from distance. So there's, you know, we'll be looking at them in full detail Thursday, Friday. But you know, they've, they've got some good players um, along with Marcus, like you said there. So you know, we'll be looking to keep them quiet one end and uh, be free flowing and, and good at the other end. And we're in the playoffs uh, now. How confident are you that we can achieve our objective of making the playoffs this season? Or we shouldn't not be. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't not be confident because, you know, we've been playing really good football. Um, you, we're hoping that that spell, the bad spell we had, we've turned the corner on that now. I think that our last few performances have been us at our free flow and best um, or as close to getting back to that as possible. Um, I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't be confident in, in terms of, you know, we've beat teams six, three times this season. Now, uh, once is a fluke, t- t- two times is good luck, three times it-, it says to me that we're doing the right things, you know, and um, in front of goal we're looking good and defensively we're looking um, watertight as well, which is which is obviously what you want out of a team. So, um, you know, I think that, like I said, we should be really confident. Um, we need to make sure that we're, we're keeping our feet on the ground, we're not getting too ahead of ourselves with, the, with, with good results and good performances. But... Um, it's going to be tough. There's going to be more ups and downs along the way. Um, but the position we're, we're in at the moment, like I said before, um, you know, we'd have snapped your hand off for this position at this point of the season before ball was kicked um, in, in August. So, uh, yeah, so confident, feeling good. The, the squad's looking good. We've got players coming back now. It's probably the, the most full the squad's looked in a while now, so there's competition for places, which is which is important this time this season. We need everybody up there on the metal and at their A game and um, you know, hopefully now we, we uh you know we bring our very, very best best to the table.